Hi guys, welcome to Word Meaning and Etymology. Today, the word that we're going to be going through is marriage. And the dictionary, the first dictionary I'm going to be using is the 1800s dictionary by Noah Webster. And then we're just going to be going through a Google definition of what marriage means. So the 1800s definition of the word marriage means the act of uniting a man and a woman for life, wedlock, the legal union of a man and woman for life, Marriage is a contract, both civil and religious, by which the parties engage to live together in mutual affection and fidelity till death shall separate them. Marriage was instituted by God himself for the purpose of preventing the promiscuous intercourse of the sexes for, and for promoting the domestic facility, felicity, sorry, and for securing the maintenance and education of children. Very, very brief rundown of the etymology of the word marriage is 1300s marriage, action of entering into wedlock, also state of condition of being husband and wife, matrimony, wedlock, also a union of a man and woman for life. As for a modern definition, just going off of Google, the legal union of a man and woman as husband and wife, and in some jurisdictions between two persons of the same sex, usually entailing legal obligations of each person to the other. So here's a controversial question that I have for y'all. Since the definition of marriage, both past and present, is well known between a man and woman, and has religious underpinnings, would you say that it is fair for religious institutions and religious people to reject same-sex marriage? And keep in mind, this does not automatically mean that you are dehumanized as a same-sex couple, or that you're not allowed to get married, per se. You can still get married in a different way, but not in a religious context.